I know what Othello may have felt being the only person in his neighborhood that looked like him. And anyone from birth to old age can relate to any character in Shakespeare. I was born in the West Indies and came to the States in 1969. I lived in Brooklyn, in Bed-Stuy. There I was, coming from England, a West Indian kid, fifth grade, going into a school when I had a British West Indian accent. It was kind of tough. So I had to be careful and I had to make sure that I, um, that I didn't get beat up. So I, I, I made people laugh and I started memorizing Shakespeare. And the more I read of Shakespeare, the more I realized that there is nothing like this at all. There was something about reading this language and the rhythm of it and the style of it and the characters and the broadness of it and the universality of it. We had a young man who came back to teach at Performing Arts by the name of James Moody. There was this articulate, handsome, African-American male coming to Performing Arts High School and saying that you can do what I'm doing. You can be me. You can go to Juilliard, you can be hired as an actor, and you can work as a Shakespearean actor. I'm doing it. Well, that's all I needed to see. My first professional gig was at Syracuse Stage, up, upstate New York. It was Shakespeare. And then I did Pennsylvania Stage Company, so a lot of different regional theaters across, primarily in the East Coast. And then did a Broadway show, Prelude to a Kiss. I mean, we were on Broadway for a year and a half. And then I auditioned for Cal Shakes. And I auditioned for Hamlet to play Laertes. And I got in, and 20 years later, I'm still with Cal Shakes. Some stair work. Some you have these amazing plays that have lasted all these years, and you have these topics that are still so relevant today. And one of us most dearly beloved.